Hello and very good morning to all of you. For last hundred videos that I have made in my YouTube channel prof. Manish Nair, they all are research content. And why I am doing this? It's only because students or job seekers or job aspirants, they normally are far away from these content. And if I have found them very relevant, specific to how. students can be groomed and if i can bridge these contents to them is what my uh, sheer intention is i hope uh, if you are watching this it's good if it is benefiting please put it in the comment column and if in case this reaches someone who's uh, who may not be finding this relevant can pass on to the students who would get benefited out of it that's the pure intention of this channel prof.manishna so uh, yet another interesting interview question and how to prepare for it let's take a very close look at everything you need to know about job interview etiquette let's talk about job interview etiquette whether you are a seasoned professional new to the job market or returning to work it's always a good idea to brush up on the basics of interview etiquette here are six essentials to help you shine on the big day first is prepare prepare and prepare taking time to prepare is the most conscientious thing you can do before an interview a job opening at a company typically indicates a real need for many people meaning that the individuals you are interviewing with are taking time for their schedules to speak with you the best way to be respectful of this time is to arrive fully prepared to answer their questions and ask your own insightful questions second treat everyone you meet with respect this extends to all areas of life and it remains true in the context of a job interview from the moment you leave your home on the day of the interview make a conscious effort to be respectful be mindful of how you behave on the commute or in an elevator no one wins points for cutting off the ceo in the parking lot or failing to hold the door for the hiring manager thinking ahead of time about how you will treat everyone in the office with respect and present yourself well security personnel receptionist and anyone else you encounter on your way to the interview room may be asked to give a uh, feedback on you so here is what you need to do now the third is practice polite confident body language as you walk into the building hold your head up and pull your shoulders back your posture and stride will help you convey professionalism and confidence you may want to practice this walk before the interview so it feels natural while you are waiting for your interviewer sit with your back straight and shoulders open hands can rest on your lap or arm rests feet flat on the floor or crossed at the ankles avoid being on your phone so you can keep your body language open and focus on being present bring your things in a bag or a portfolio a folder that we talked about that's easy to hold and can neatly contain everything you need you don't want to appear encumbered or disorganized respect communal space don't lounge in the waiting or interview rooms in a way that inconveniences others resting your feet on another chair spreading your legs placing your belongings in a chair someone else could sit in etc etc during the interview find the right balance for your energy you want to be upbeat without being aggressive one way to strike this balance is to avoid leaning too far back or coming forward too much sit up straight using your hands to gesture rather than moving your body fourth ace the introductions if you are sitting when someone approaches you stand up before you shake their hand look them in the eyes and smile offer a greeting like it's nice to meet you and say their name you will be more likely to remember their name if you say it out loud when you first meet for the handshake you want to be firm but not grip their hand too strongly make sure your hand isn't limp pro professional tip is if you happen to be on the receiving end of a limp handshake give their hand a gentle squeeze this can prompt them to make their hand more firm make eye contact when you are being asked and answering questions this eye contact doesn't need to be continuous or too intense 
use it strategically to indicate that you are listening or to emphasize an important point you want to convey to the interviewer that you are focused on them and very much in the moment fifth remember your table manners some interviews may be conducted over a meal all the basics of how to be polite at the table apply here exception if your meal arrives first wait to eat until others have received their food as well place your napkin in your lap don't talk with uh, food in your mouth take small manageable bites it's best to nod all beverages during an interview if your interviewer orders alcohol use your best judgment and stay within your comfort zone you can always offer a seltzers or soft drink Sixth, send a thank you note. You should follow up and email thank you for to the hiring manager within 24 hours. This can be a quick note simply thanking them for their time or a longer note that elaborates on some of the things you talked about. If you have multiple interviews on the same day with various people, it's best to send a personalized thank you note to each individual who interviewed you. In addition to the email, it's appropriate to send a handwritten note especially if you felt a connection with the hiring manager this is a good way to leave an impression even if you don't get the job this time closing the loop with a thank you note can be a way to continue a professional relationship with this person so i hope that uh, we have done the six major points covered fantastically well for all of you but at the same time let me tell you that body language is your own natural thing if you think that you are controlled and not robotics whatever body language that you can possibly uh, demeanor dispose i think please be at your natural self many a times when you take a walk take a comfortable walk stand on your both feet carry the folder in one hand and whenever you are uh, approaching the receptionist be very sophisticated show that courteousness mannerism and professionalism asking the right question for which you desire a right answer be logical speak minimum and when you are asked to sit in the lobby ask for everything where you can uh, maybe if you need a water a glass of water or maybe uh, you need to attend a washroom maybe a quick break before you catch up with your interview time before or maybe a meal or a breakfast or a tea for that matter i think for every question that you uh, should be more comfortable at more ease you should be ready and do it prior interview not to kill nervousness in the uh, interview ensure that you are occupied with the best people around if they are smiling you can smile and talk to them and maybe uh, exchange few favors asking for their experience a small talk maybe catch up with that now etiquettes are your behaviors etiquettes are the way you speak how you speak and many a time it happens that your interview actually starts at the reception level so when while talking to the receptionist treat them as good as being interviewed or screen you might get a surprise by a feedback from the receptionist who might be a team of interviewer uh, and given a task of you know screening whoever comes with their Uh, demeanor with their predisposition with their behavior and with their attitude as well and what if you are sitting in the lobby and if the receptionist is able to spot that even for that matter the one who is interacting with you might be a, an hr executive but needs the right approach that approach is the etiquette that you are going to you know uh, exhibit so whatever you are exhibiting take things in control and one more thing while entering make that conscious to knock on the door if asked given permission enter it with a smile greet them first and stand before you are asked to sit and maybe go further with the interview process always ensure that both of your hands should be on your lap it should neither be on the table that you have given for the interview or on the armrest what you call as and the best thing is occupy almost 80% of your chair very parallel to the back of the chair and your back is parallel and your feet are flat on the ground so that you take the maximum control of your own body and you are 
ready for your best exhibition for the interview now do not have anything in hand unless you are asked to please do not submit the resume keep it in the folder and once asked open the folder and keep your resume ready so that while it's the most opportune time for you to you know respond to any query all the uh, material all the credentials that you are carrying with you uh, in the folder is a uh, hands distance uh, where you can you know take it out and give it to the interviewer but always uh, seek permission and seek uh, the right question to respond or react to do not preempt anything and uh, show your nervousness towards the interview process i hope the etiquette the behavior the demeanor the exhibition is well explained here if you uh, have all got it i think this gives you a great prelude to prepare best i'm sure you'd do that best wishes thank you